welcome to a new thing we're doing called Get Connected, in which we're bringing Rally Day to you virtually so that you can find out more information about the programs and ministries happening at First, happening at First Presbyterian and ways in which you can be involved or get connected. So to kick us off, I hung out with a few of the ladies here at the First Presbyterian Thrift Store, and I learned a lot, especially from Ruth Wyckoff. Let's check it out. The thrift shop began 60 years ago in May. So we have, we're now in our 60th year. We, each week, it takes close to 20 people to make this thing happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have people who come in on the week before we sell. There are about nine of us that come in and we each have an area that we're responsible for getting ready to open. We have uh, people who clean. We have people who advertise for us on Facebook. We have volunteers that we're all volunteers. Then we have the people who come to sell. There are four of those each week who come in to actually do the selling. And we have people who work in the back room uh, during that time. So besides that, we have, uh, when, when we are not in a pandemic, we do vouchers uh, for one on one to help people who need help. And um, so that's another person. And then after it's all over, there are two people each week who count the money that was made and make the deposit. The tr it's always, it's a Presbyterian women's function that started, but it's always involved men as well. The first two people, the, the first couples that ran it were Mr. and Mrs. Barry and Mr. and Mrs. Myers and they work together at it. We still have men today. We have men who help selling, so anybody can do it that wants to help with it. We are paid help from everyone. Such a you fun job. You get to see so many people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and do good. And do good. Yeah, and have fun. And have help fun. the church. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you do want to help out, um, the morning shift is 9 to 12.30. And the afternoon shift is 12.30 till 4 o'clock. Okay. And you basically take money. And two people, people. And it's two people all the We're time. We're partners. <laughs> That's right. We're partners. She takes the money. I buy the goods. Oh, yes. We're both overqualified. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, ha we have all kinds of things we sell. Someone said once, well, do you have this? And we'd say, well, no, I don't think we have that, but we'll put it on order. And it's amazing because it almost always shows up within two or three weeks. <laughs> so we usually have a wide variety of things. We have clothing, we have things that um, you might put out in your yard. We have linens, we have kitchen items, just about anything you can think of. The thrift shop, when they began the thrift shop, they began it because they were having a sale, every a rummage sale every year for two or three days in Alexander Hall. And that takes a lot of work. And when the trustees bought this property where the thrift shop sits for a parking lot, they thought that it would be good for us to have a portion of it, keep it here, it could serve the community all the time. Mm -hmm. And then you wouldn't have just one big thing, it would be available when people needed things. Um, they have always thought that it was important to give back to the community from what they made. So we've always had the um, sort of, not in stone written, but the written guide that we would give a third of what we make to the ch church projects and two-thirds would go to community projects. We have 13 groups that we sponsor every year that are just local community organizations that are philanthropic and, um, and then we have uh, the others people can request funds for. Mm. So. Um, from the church, if the mm -hmm. church has a mission idea that they mm -hmm. want to use it for, they put in their request and we do our best to 
to uh, fund as much of it as we can. Oh. Um, uh, also, we would like now that we are in the pandemic to have people who wish to make donations. Um, please be sure that you call ahead and make arrangements because we are isolating the items for a while to be sure that you don't get sick so that we know the items when we put out are relatively safe and uh, we are also requiring all the people who come in to shop to wear masks and um, they are asked to social distance. We limit the number of people who can be in the shop at one time to what we feel is safe and we try our very best to keep things clean. Uh, we have lots of hand sanitizer and uh, cleaning that goes on with the baskets and things that they shop with. Okay. Uh, probably left out the most important ingredient to making the thrift shop a success, and that is all the people in our church and our community, because they give so generously of the things that they want to donate. And without these donations, we would not be able to offer them. Mm -hmm. So everyone out there is the most important part of the job. Mm -hmm.